These native Virginia waterleaf plants are often found in woodland areas with other shade-loving vegetation. There's certainly no shortage of them. They spread and create colonies as they're doing on both sides of this path. Guess you might say they're invasive, but I prefer to call them opportunists. Even though the season for these edible perennials is during springtime, they produce new leaves in early autumn, which is another opportunity to harvest fresh greens. Plants may grow up to two feet high. Young leaves emerge in April. Foragers like me who have been yearning to gather greens after a long winter appreciate their early appearance. Leaves have coarsely toothed edges with sharp tips. Some of them have white marks, which is an easy way to identify them. These designs can range from a few watermarks to patterns that resemble randomly splattered paint. They disappear as plants mature. Unfortunately, not all leaves have these. Plants that come up later usually don't. If you gently pull up a plant, the bottom area is maroon. Look closely at the stem. One part has two lines, one on each side of a flattened area. Some plants split in a Y formation with a maroon spot where two stems meet. These plants have several edible parts. Try their pliable stems as a raw nibble when they're up to a foot high. Collect them before the flowers open. They're watery and crunchy. Leaves are edible raw or cooked and taste best when they're young. Avoid ones that are too old and chewy. Choose the freshest leaves and use them as soon as you can. They quickly wilt after being picked. Leave their stems attached and place some water to revive them. I don't recommend them as a main course. Chop a few to put in salads and add some to other vegetables in stir fries. If in doubt about identification of these plants, Wait until the little buds appear in May. Their distinctive appearance is a way to verify you've found the right ones. These look like little pom-poms and can be fuzzy. I tried them raw and their texture wasn't appealing. Use them to make fritters or put them in stir fries to improve their flavor. The frilly and delicate flowers are bell-shaped and grow in clusters. They're usually white, but some, like these older ones, have a pinkish tinge. Their five dainty stamens resemble cat's whiskers as they peek out from the petals. Plants don't flower at the same time. I've found some in mid-May and others in June. These blossoms make an unusual garnish. You guessed it, for my salads. Their seed capsules start to form in June after the plants have flowered. They're pale green and are ready in July. These split open to release the small, light brown seeds, which are hard and not edible. If you walk in the woods during the beginning of spring, you might discover a sea of green Virginia waterleaf plants. Although they're not a major edible, they're abundant, their season is long, and worth a try.